Stoke City fresh off the back of victory over Arsenal last week. Travelled to Crystal Palace on Saturday with the home side looking to build on their good defensive display against Spurs last week that saw them get a goalless draw. And it was the home side that took the lead. Excellent play from Yannick Balazi. And James MacArthur flicked in the header to score his first for the club since joining from Wigan. Balazi was a real threat all afternoon for Neil Warnock's side. MacArthur with just enough on his header to beat the Stoke goalkeeper Azmir Begovic. And a perfect start for Neil Warnock's side inside 11 minutes. But that joy was short-lived as Stoke levelled just over a minute later. Boyan with an excellent run. The pullback to John Walters. His deflected shot was tapped in simply by Peter Crouch. Only two players have scored more headed goals in the Premier League than Peter Crouch. This, though, a simple tap-in for the big striker. Crouch had also opened the scoring against Arsenal last weekend. It was a clever pullback from Boyan. And Walters, who's playing with a knee injury at the moment, Able to get enough on the shot to see the deflection run into Crouchy's path. Balazi, though, continued to be a threat, and again he combined well with MacArthur. This time Begovic equal to the effort with Stoke eventually able to clear the ball behind for a corner. MacArthur's settled in well to life at Selhurst Park. Too many chances in the second half, but Palace continued to press, and it was again MacArthur who forced the Stoke goalkeeper into a fine save. Probably the pick of the bunch, that one from Begovic, as he saw the ball late through a crowd of players. Tried to curl it into the bottom corner, MacArthur looking for his second goal of the game. Goalkeeper equal to it. A late chance for Stoke with just three minutes to go. Again, Palace didn't get the ball clear, Cameron played it back in, Crouch stuck out a long leg. But Julian Spironi, who'd been fairly quiet all game, plucked the ball out of the air. Crouch unable to find a way through for his second goal. It ended Crystal Palace 1, Stoke City 1.